hello there welcome back to my channel um thank you for popping by um i've just got another hopefully two cards to um, make for you today the first one um, i'm going to be using this um sending all my love edgeable um die um, and i'm going to be using this cardstock which i bought from crafters companion um, but it comes from Dynamics, um, so that's what I'm going to be playing with, first of all. Okay, so this is quite um, a large die. Uh, let me just grab my ruler. I believe it's, yeah, so it's just over, uh, well, just under eight and a half inches long, so it's, it's very long. Um, let's put that packet out of the way. And because it is um, so long, what I'm going to need to do is use my um, Spellbinders uh, Grand Calibre. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting into some Centaurus Pearl. Um, and this is the Snow White. Um, so the lettering's on this side. So what I'm going to do is line up the dye flush on that side. And... Probably going to go down, let's say, what's that? Probably about an inch and a half. Oh, nearly two inches. Now let's go to an inch and a half. Don't really want to make it quite so big. Okay. Okay. And then I'll grab my plates. Actually, what I'm going to do, just because of the length of that die, just going to trim off. The bottom of that card stock. I'll put it that way, rather than putting it across. It would just about fit going that way, but... It's just going to be easier to do that trim. So I'm sure if the, the camera might uh, shake a little bit just because I've got the calibre on this desk today. Just move it around a little bit. Nearly there. As always with a crafter's companion die, even these uh, little bits right there. Let's oh, put that die to the side. I'm just going to bring in my pokey tool. Obviously, um, all of these letters I can keep for another project. I'm not going to be using them on this one. There's something of just a bit relaxing about poking these bits out. Probably not to watch. Well, I don't know, you might enjoy it. But uh, and these little hearts as well, they're pretty cute. You could use them elsewhere. And just be gentle with the sort of filigree bits. Just don't want to rip anything. 
And obviously the beauty about this uh, Centura Pearl is that you get that beautiful luster on it. Nearly there. Just going to gather all of those bits up and I'll just pop those to the side. Okay, so um, from my card itself, so I'm going to work out what sort of size I want it to be because I'm not necessarily going to be using all of this die cut. I want to cut it down just a little bit. I'm just going to bring in my Stampin' Up trimmer. Let's move those bits out of the way a second. So at the moment, it is just over the eight. So I'm just gonna take, just gonna neaten up that edge there. And then let's see. So I don't want it to be eight. We could do, no, because I've got to have the black and then I've got to have this one. So I'm going to go to one, two, three, four notches under the eight. And that's what I've cut that to. So just to make my card blank, obviously it's going to be eight inches wide. And then let's have a look. So that one, as it stands at the moment, so that is about three and three quarters. And I'm going to have the blue, same. I'm going to go eight by six and a half. So let's go six and a half there. So I know it's going to be an odd shape, but that's okay. It's not a problem. And then again to the eight. And then this one's going to be seven, just so I can use that half an inch for a tab. rid of that one for a second so we'll need it again and then I'm going to bring in my scoreboard I'm just gonna score that half an inch let's see I'm using the crafters companion multi multi-purpose card and there is um, a sort of duller side and a sort of slightly shinier side. So I always try, it doesn't always work, I um, always try and just get the slightly shinier side on the outside. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of red liner tape, just a bit to hold it. Give it a burnish down. And then I'll whip that one off. And then I'm going to use construction glue on the rest. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see which. Just double check that measurement. So. I think I've scored on, I've glued on the wrong side. I have, uh, honestly. Well, you do get all the mistakes and everything on here. Uh, you know, because these things do happen. 
so we are eight across there we go and then that one was seven six and a half so six and a half by seven Oops, don't score let's try that again shall we so yeah it is fine so it is the six and a half that I am scoring Again, so that's the shinier side. There we go. Let's get back on track. All right, again, just a little bit of red liner tape just to hold. A little bit of construction clear. Yeah, we should find. Oops, make sure we've got the shiny side. Yep. Go, just give that a little press, wipe that glue away. Oh, there we go. And there's my card blank. Okay, so we've ended up with a finished card which is eight by six and a half. So let me just double check that for you. So yeah, eight long and six and a half high. Perfect. Okay, so then for this next layer with the black, I want this to go over the whole base. So we're going to trim that to two notches before the eight. And so that's six and a half. So two notches under that one. Just going to double check that fits fine. That's perfect. And then I'll just double check that that fits on there nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so this one needs to be the same width as that one, which is right on the fourth notch. So, one, two, three, four, and trim. And um, so it was six and a half was the, the measurement so i'm gonna go to so where are we six and a half so one two three mm, it doesn't really matter if this comes up a little short because it's going to be hidden i suspect that is going to be shorter but that's not a problem because it's going to be hidden by the top piece anyway and Need to take a little bit more off that edge. Let's go to there. What's that like? Just gonna bring that one back in. Yeah, it's the same as that, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put this one away for now and let's start constructing. Okay, so I'm going to just go around with my construction glue. And I'm just going to pop that one on as straight as I can. And this one, obviously, because that's going on the top, I just need to make sure that it's in the right place at the bottom more than anything else. Yep. 
happy with that. And then I don't know if I want to raise that or whether... I think I will. No, I'm going to go flat with it just simply because of all the filigree bits. It just makes them a little bit more vulnerable if I don't. So I'm just going to bring in that piece there. Oops. And I'm just going to put a few... And I can be quite messy with this glue because I'll just tap it off after, just before I pop that down. There we go. Pop those onto there. Let's press that down gently. There we go, so that's the card as it stands at the moment. Doesn't want to stick down with that PVA glue, the bookbinding glue. Okay, so next I'm going to come in with some blue gems um, just to go on these edges here. So if I can get this thing, oh, I might be sellotape down. And this um, this cardstock here from Dynamics, I did sort of um, did do a little bit of heat embossing on it just to see what that would look like, but I didn't have the right kind of gold. And I think if I had uh, a um, a sort of uh, ink pad that I could um, uh, not an ink pad, in a pen where I could just trace these lines along. It would have looked quite nice. All right, let me just put a, a little bit of card across there while I turn that round because otherwise I think these gems are going to jump. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. They did ram these full. Okay. So, and I want my little pickup tool. And I'm going to go in just with these dark blue gems. They're kind of AB, so they do kind of catch the light. And they have kind of got a sort of silvery gold tinge to them. So let's bring those out. So pop them on there. That one on. Yeah. Come on. This one doesn't want to play the game. There we go. Move that round gently. There we go. Just going to sprinkle a few out just to make them easier to pick up. And just keep going. So, what I'm doing just where there's a little swirl, just accentuating that with a little pearl. And they're not too in your face. Sort of Girly. They're just uh, 
just nice. There we go. I knew there was another one. Okay, nearly there. So just keep going with these. Okay. Just get these to turn over. I've got a little tray it's downstairs actually, but um, that I use for diamond painting, and uh, it's quite good for for putting these sort of things in because. If you get a load that like this are on the wrong side, so because I really want to pick it up from the shiny side, just to make it easier for myself. Um, but the tray is sort of it's got these little ridges in it, so uh, you can just sort of shake them and they sort of all jiggle about and turn over. There he goes. So if you do do some uh, diamond painting, then once you've done it, keep hold of those little trays because they're perfect for little jobs like this. Here we go, gotcha. So one, two, three, four. So I'll just get these. Seems to have a spider web on this one. I don't am I happy with that? So I just want I think one there. One there. I think one there. And then we'll call that a day. So that was that one. And then one more. Which was there. There we go, so let's put that back in there. And I'll put that there, I don't think I'll risk turning that anymore. Okay, so um, that's sort of the card as it is at the moment. What I've also done is I've got this um, black bow that I've tied using the bow maker. So I'm just going to... tails down a little bit there we go let's have a look yeah just need to go a little bit more on that side I think here we go and I'm gonna pop down on this side I'm going to use my 3D glue gel and pop that in there and I also have this blue paper sort of mulberry paper rose let's get rid of that stalk and I'm going to just pop that in the top of this bow like so um, and then just to finish what I'm going to do is just get some gold gems along the top um, and these are going to be sparkly ones I think I'll go with pearl actually because uh... oh no there's another thing I need to do as well apologies before I do that let me grab my trimmer I'll take that little piece of 
card out. And I want a little piece of black and I want it maybe three quarters of an inch. There's that. And that, hopefully that's going to be by the eight. Just two into the eight, that's perfect. And then, so we went to three quarters, didn't we? Yeah. So I'm just going to go to about there. Let's see what that looks like. Take a little bit more off that one. Oh, we could go a bit wider with the I think we'll go a bit wider actually. So let's have a look. So we've got this here. Let's try that. that might be better. Let's have a go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. And I'm just going to use this one because I want it to set quite quick and not move around because I need to trim it around just a little bit on the end, I believe. So I'm going right up to the edge. Just making sure that's even. Bringing my card back in. I just need to take a, a wee bit off the end. That's perfect. And then going with some 3D glue gel. One, two, three, four. And a oops. Pad. Just to give it a little bit of interest because everything else apart from the bow and the flower has been quite flat. So I'm just going straight across there. And now this is where my pearls are going. Okay. So I'm just going to do, actually, let me just, just start a little bit because it's, yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm just going to put, start on this side, I think. So we go three on this side, one, two, three, and then four, five. And we've got a pokey tool. Okay, one. Just want to leave my pokey tool. There we go. And the next size down. And a teeny weeny tiny. Move that one along. Oh, I've just put my hand in that glue. That's annoying. Okay, let's just put another little bit on. And I'm going to go, just because I've got quite a few large ones, I'll go large and then medium on that one. So, sorry about all the mistakes in that one, but... As usual we do get there in the end and at least I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to 
Um, but that's uh, a card you could send to anyone really um, for anything. Um, just needs a little insert inside. And stands like so. Okay, so that's that one. So we'll leave that one to dry. Just clear down the deck a little bit. Okay, um, and I'm just going to quickly get set up for the next bit. Okay, so for the next one, actually, what I'll do is if I just pop that right out of the way. Um, I thought I would use uh, this poppy um, decoupage uh, with the matching die. Um, and I'm also going to be using the inverted stitch scallop circles. Okay, and the paper that I'm going to be using, that comes from subscription box 37. Okay, so I'm going to start just by grabbing a piece of card, uh, my scoreboard, and I'm going to score, I think it's going to be around about four inches. Let me just open this up, just make sure. Oops. That's the biggest one. So where are we? No, so I'm going to go to five, five inches. So when I do these demos, what I do is um, I get the stuff together and before before I come and do the video and uh, I sort of have a sort of plan on what I want it to look like when it's finished. Um, but as you you know you can see things do change as I move along through the demos so uh, that's why they're, they're quite sort of organic really change okay so now we've ended up with a card um, and that is just under five just under five inches by I'm going to do this to eight just to make it easy for myself. So five by eight. There we go. Let's not cut that very well. I think I need a new blade. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I might switch to my other trimmer just for the layers. Okay. And then, um, fine. And then um, for uh, the next layer, um, that is going to be black. So I just grab, oops, just grab the smaller trimmer, the hunky dory one. Oh, there we go. No, it's going to have to be the bigger one because of the eight inches. Apologies. There we go. So we're going to go two under eight and then two under five. Let's see what that looks like. If it needs to be trimmed a bit more, and it does. So we're going three notches under five. Okay, so three notches under five, just under the five and a half. So uh, five and a half, so we're moving down two notches. That's So we're going to there. Let's try that. That's lovely. And then that is three notches under the eight. So we want to be going to one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
and I'm happy with that. And then this one we're keeping at its full length and I want that to go about three inches I believe because I want to use stamp on it. I want to use uh, have a wonderful day. Yeah, so I think if I go to three inches because I'm going to tear it, um, that's going to give me enough space to do what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to start by coming in with my layers because they're all nice cardstock. I can just use my construction glue. In position nicely. Let's get that smooth down, and then I'm going in with this green. I'm not inking any of the edges. Um, I tend to not really, if I'm honest with you. But I know there are people that love to do that. So please, if that's what you you want to do, is that okay? And then this one, if I grab my uh, ruler. What I'm going to do is just give it a little tear. I don't mind if it comes up a bit. I want it to look quite quite uh, organic. Sort of. I can tidy anything up if I'm not happy. So with these little bits, I can just go along, neaten them up a little bit. And again, because I've torn that way with my ruler on this side, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So, just so that it, if you tear with your ruler to the other side, you get a slightly different white edge. Um, so, I want them to be the same. Um, so, whichever side you decide to tear, just make sure if you want them to match, then do them. Same on both sides. Let's tidy up that little bit there. There we go. And that's going to go across like so. I'm going to trim that down to there. Let's bring this trimmer in just for quickness. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my um, waterproof ink and I'm going to bring in my, sorry about my chair squeaking, my stamping platform. Just going to pop that on like so. And I'm going to bring in my Have a Wonderful Day. So I'll pop that in the middle. And this is from um, a Lee Holland stamp. And I'm using this just because I really love the way these sentiment stamp. They're just usually really precise. Okay, I'm just going to grab myself another little piece of card because I want to be quick and I'm going to open my crystal clear embossing powder. Get rid of those. Let's get that the right way around. Uh, let's go down. Lovely, take that the right way up. Just quickly gonna go on with that. Let's move that off there. Just gonna tap off the excess super carefully onto there. Yeah, lovely. And 
just going to put that back into my pot before that goes flying. Wouldn't be the first time. We'll put the lid on nice and quick. Okay, so if I just pop that stamp off for a second and I'm going to bring in my little heat tool. Oops, knocking everything over today. And just carefully, this is um, a Arranger Heat It tool. It's quite nice and quiet. It's just going to emboss that for me. It's just... There you go. I don't know if you can see how that sort of now shines. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to pop that and that to the side. Let's put that one back on there before that goes walkies and then I'll be upset next time when I can't find it. Like I say, it's one of my favourite set of stamps just because they stamp so lovely. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my um, circles there. And I believe I'm probably going to have to go with the largest one, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to go with these two first of all. So I can bring in my Gemini for this bit. I'm just going to grab, so I'm going to cut, let's cut the right way, um, out of the shiny side on the white. And then hopefully I should have a bit of black. Is that going to fit? It will just, but I'm going to have to make sure it doesn't move. Okay, so double tape for this one. All right, so what I'm going to do is just turn it over, just make sure. Actually, that's just not going to work because this one um, is cutting into. So that's not going to work if I do it that way. So... What I'm going to need to do is let's pop that one in the centre of there so that it cuts out. All right, let me think this through just a second. Do I want that in white or do I want that in black? So it's going on there. I think if I cut this in black and then just do a slightly bigger circle in the white. I'm probably going to have to use a different set of dies to do that. Alright, so let's pop that across there. It's not quite... So I'm just trying to get the, the borders all nice and even. Why don't you want a stick tape? There we go. I'll we'll just give that a quick chop. And then if I bring in my circles from here, my carnation crafts one. Uh, which one do I think? So that's going to be no. That's the same. So this one should give me teeny tiny white border. Okay, so let's borrow you again. Cut inside down on the lighter side. All right. Because what I wanted, I wanted a white space to put my poppy on. Um, and then obviously the black frame to go around. All right, so I might have to do this in two goes. I don't think I'm going to get both of them on my plates at the same time. I'm going back to using my junior. The new plates still haven't come due today. So, in fact, if you hear the dogs barking shortly, because she usually comes around about now, um, then you'll know that they are here. We have a, a Yodel delivery driver called Judith. 
um, and she is really lovely, a really friendly lady. So, always like getting a delivery from Judith, whether it's craft or not. Okay, so then this is the black going through. That's going through. Just love it. Okay, now I'll just check that it's come out like I want it to. Yeah, and that was what I was aiming for. Okay, so I'll pop that to the side. Pop those to the side, I'll tidy those up in a second okay so next we need to cut out the decoupage so I'm just going to take a page out of there and these this decoupage is the same as the decoupage that you get with the um snow noel holly and jo uh, no, jolly no holly and snow dyes and I think I did a video with the snow dye so basically you uh, line the dye over the numbers um, are there for you and you just have to make sure that the number oops make sure you can't see anything of your flower and make sure that number covers um, and then the next one, which is going to be number two. Again, just make sure that covers that number. Um, number three. Cover that number. Number four. that number number five number six nope. let's cover that otherwise we're not gonna get right leaves and then number seven the tiny one all on his own those onto my plate and through she goes just pop these back on here as I go just with there being so many of them and some of them being so little just don't want to lose any scrub my pokey tool poke those little leaves out that's that one, this is that one, and oh. trust me to lose the biggest one. Okay. That one and then the teeny weeny one. What's that one? Pop that one up there. Okay, so I'm going to bring my card back in 
and because I'm going to be putting my circle uh, just over here what I'm going to do is just put the, the glue on the vellum here just so that that uh, won't be seen and it will sort of move around a little bit so that's fine that's what I want okay so I'm just going to pop that like so squished it and then I'm going to bring in my glue gel just a few I want it raised but just not too much there and then I'll go flat with this one so I'm just gonna pop a dot on each of these scallops obviously you could use your dotty glue pen even put it through his iron if you really wanted to you know whatever you want to do really just gently popping that on. Oops. Just warming it up with my hands. No, it doesn't want to stick. Why do you not want to stick? there or not just give that a minute okay I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue under this side because for some reason it's not wanting to stick there we go. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my um, largest layer first of all um, and just put plenty of glue on the back. And this one is going flat because all of the other, got all of the other layers there. Okay, so that's in there. And then I'm going to come in with my glue gel. Just going to shape these a little bit, and you can see these um, die cut, and they put all these little lines that are in, all embossed in, which makes it sort of super easy just to give it a little bend. Just pop a little bit of glue on the back, and obviously, you can use your foam pads if you want, you know, it's whatever you, whatever you like the look of. I kind of like these uh, to be sort of varying height, so. That's why I sort of prefer the glue gel with them. Just get them lined up. There we go. And then we've got this flower again. There we go. And then we've got the leaves. I'm just going to put the titty amount on there. Okay, then we've got another bit of the leaves. Oh, and this is the bigger leaf, sorry. That's the one. And then we got this one just to go. Actually, 
I'm going to leave this one off. I don't think we need it. I think there's plenty of the other there. Okay, just give that a little press down. Okay, uh, put the top on that one. Okay, um, and then what I'm going to do is just come in with some gems. Um, so I think we need some green ones. Let's see what we've got. I've got some. We could go with red, actually. I think the red might be better. Let's go with the red. Alright, okay. I'm just going to pop a few out on the desk there. Um, unless I decide to go with some glittery ones. No, I don't think I want any glittery ones. I think these will be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one little dot of glue behind this vellum because it is wafting a bit. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just pop that on there a minute just while I do these other gems. So I'm going to go one, two, three on there. Sticky pens disappear and there's my computer. Okay. So one, two. Nicely lined up, and then I'm going to do two going down on there. Oh, gotcha. And then where I've put that glue on the film, just because I can see it. What I can do is do three along there. One, two. Oh, those are the wrong ones, because that's pink. I want these ones. Come on, let's play the game. There you go. So that's covered that up there. So we've got three, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the last one, just go in. Okay, so apologies about that. Okay, so then that's that bit done. And then what I'm going to do, no, not with that one, I want to come in with my clear overlay. And I'm just going to go around the edges up here. Just to give a little hint of sparkle. <laughs> Dog's just come in yawning stress because the delivery driver didn't give him anything. Okay, but now the good news is that should be my plate, so. Oh, sorry, George is going to bark again. There you go, and that's that one finished. So, um, sorry about the mistake earlier, and uh, 
the crazy dog barking etc it's one of those days um but i hope you enjoyed the video um and obviously uh if you wanted to give the cards a go you can always put photos below i'd love to see what you're doing with these um with these products as well if you've got them so um anyway have a, re a good rest of the day um and see you, see you next time thank you bye bye